What's good, y'all? It's your boy Little Roy, aka Little Roy TV. We back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, welcome to the channel. You see the title, see the video, thumbnail, whatever you see. With that being said, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my music channel. Follow me on Instagram. Obviously, you see the at on the screen, so go check that out. I just have some chips, so my fault. Why I'm butchering words. With that being said, like, comment, share. Let's get more people on the squad. The video, share it. Um, like I said, subscribe also to my music channel. You guys see the title. I'm doing back to back videos today, so if you see the same fit, it is what it is. Um, with that being said, you see the title. We're gonna do what's better. We're doing like a new segment. I want to do on the channel between two hype sneakers same silhouette just different colors and different models so patent breads and lost and founds chicago's so if you're new here subscribe to this channel this is what we do over here a lot of content i've dropped a whole lot of videos this week consistency going into this year we guys know i took breaks because i don't like to ever give you guys videos just because I like to actually be happy and enjoy that I'm filming, but also editing. Editing is probably the worst. Um, I'm not the best editor, but I had to figure it out for myself to start the channel years ago, obviously. But long ass intro, let's get right into the video so we just look at these sneakers and discuss. So let's get it. Off rip, right? Last year, they dropped a Jordan 1. Or was it two years ago? So the Jordan 1 game did die down. We could agree. Jordan 1 hype fell off. It died down. Um, Nike milked the fuck out of Jordans. Excuse me for my language. When I tell you last year and the little year before, 2022, Jordan, Nike milked the hell out of Jordan 1s. Like, they dropped one of some of the worst Jordans ever, let alone a Jordan 1 silhouette. Like, they dropped good ones, it's hyped. Everybody wants it. They drop terrible ones that people don't even understand why you drop them. Like, there's some Jordan ones out there that I never saw anybody wear in my life. Um, even when they went under retail, I remember going to the outlet, seeing those damn McDonald goofy highlighter pink, white, yellow, whatever it was. I remember going to the outlet. It was, I don't know if it was full price, but they were letting you buy as much of the pairs as you want. They were sitting, like, up to the shelf. Each row was, like... 10 boxes, 10 boxes, 10 boxes, like 10 rolls of 10 boxes, like 100 Jordan 1s of those ugly McDonald Jordan 1s. Anyways, but there was some good times. And these two sneakers are one of the best moments, one of the last two best moments of Jordan 1s that I can remember. Obviously not back to back, but like through this time within last year and the year before. Um, Yeah. So, well, it might be two years because this sneaker came out two years ago. Time really be flying. But no further ado, like I said, if you're watching this for the first time, you might want these sneakers. You might hate me. You might like, oh, he's a reseller. But also, these are my personal sneakers. So it's not like I just buy sneakers to resell. I also have money. Not money. I also have my personal collection. Then I also have stuff I buy for resale because I don't have to like everything just like you don't have to like everything. As well as people might watch and hate. That's fine as well. I don't care about your opinion. I literally don't even care. Like, nothing on this channel bothers me. You could comment hate. You could talk shit. I literally don't care. I started this channel with zero subs. Zero. And now we're on our way to a thousand. With no promo. No nothing. No collabs. Nothing. Just literally upload. Post. Or post, upload, same thing. But idea, film, edit, post. There's videos on the channel that people hate it because of the stuff I criticize. But either way, let's get right into the shoes. So we'll start from the older shoe to the newer shoe, right? And like the video before this, which you guys don't see it yet, but I did the Jordan 4 war and now this one is Jordan 1 war. So you guys tell me, you see the box, the shiny, so you know what that is. Or at least you should know, right? I still never wore these, by the way crazy but the air jordan one i know people haven't seen this on the channel and videos for a long time 
I mean, it does come with the black laces, but I'm tired of recently for having black, so I put the red. I mean, you're gonna laugh anyways. Of course, come with the Jordan tag. Everyone remembers this. It does come with red laces, obviously. You can see I put one red here. And I don't know why I said that before about the black, but I put one black, one red. Low-key, I just wanted to see how it look. But I do like the black, actually, because it feels like the red and patent is so shiny. But since I laced it up, I didn't want to take it off, because why the hell would I sit here and do laces again? But yeah, red and black, you could keep it however you want. White laces, you could add. Some people did add white laces, but I added the red laces and black. But this, right, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on patent shoes because they say, oh, it's in a crease long term. It's not built for that. It's going to look terrible, blah, 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 blah. Now, this was going to be my first Jordan 1 with this colorway because for a long time in my phone, and long, I always had a vision. I always wanted the bread toes Jordan 1s, the classic, you know, the red, black, white, whatever silk colorway. Um, but these was the first drop of like, you know, Chicago, Pan Breads, Black Toes, all that stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't need the bread toes no more. I don't gotta pay 600 plus for them. I could get this for retail. And low key, I wasn't gonna end up hitting. I only got a couple, even for resale, I only got a couple GS pairs, um, men's pairs. I think I got like two ten and a half, two tens, and in Jordan ones I'm a size ten. And I this is back when the finish line, sh I mean not finish line, Foot Locker and Kids Foot Locker Champs was doing very good on the ship to me options for sneakers. If you don't know what that is, I'm not here to explain that right now. So literally I'm on line at Snipes. If you don't know what Snipes is, that's a whole nother problem. But I was at the online Snipes. I was probably like the first five ten people. They were doing some stores first come first serve. So that's where the 10 and a half comes in hand because I literally didn't know. I don't even know what size I wanted or whatever it was. All I know is remember 10 o'clock is the drop Eastern time. So that's also when the ship to me results come out. So me and my mom is online. And you know, sometimes when you're rushing through your accounts, you don't know what account is what, what size, you gotta keep double checking to make sure you know how much stuff you want. So since I wanted these, every raffle or anything I did was a size 10, right? So I was online. I wasn't the first in the store. Like I said, I was probably top 10 people to go in the store. So as I'm waiting online, I check my Champs and Foot Locker account and it says I want ship to me option. So that's how I got my size 10. So I had two 10s. I recently got rid of the other 10. I thought I wanted to double up on these, but why would I double up if now I got another shoe with this silhouette of, you know, the, the different version of it, obviously, which I'm going to show you in the next shoe, the Lost and Found. Because like I said in any video, I'm tired of the whole typical red, black, blue, black, all that I want to switch it up. But with these and Lost and Found, that's the only Jordan one I ever need with black and red and white. I don't care how they flip it. I'm good with the patent ones, and then I'm good with the lost and found. So I end up hitting two, two size tens. My account and my mom's. And then when I went to the store, because it was for resale, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna just get two ten and a halves. Call it a day." So that's how I got these bad boys. A little back to the random right? video too long. Uh. So yeah, let's get into the next two. I ain't got to tell you a backstory on here unless you want to. Let's just do a quick, quick wrap. I ain't realize I was talking that long. But the Lost and Found Chicago's right here. Voila. Two different type of reds, different type of shoe. Clearly, you can see them side by side. But this is OD. This, to me, was the second best shoe of last year or the year before, whatever it was. But you guys let me know. Obviously, Chicago's get more love than patent breads. But if you're the compare, right, just what, for what it was, right? Because when this came out, a lot of people did like these. Forget about what the world says about, oh, the patent is not good. But the Lost and Founds, it's a good shoe. If I had to choose, I really don't know which ones I would choose. Um, I like the Chicago because it's dominantly red and white. And I like these because it's loud and it's black and red. So you guys let me know in the comment section. I know this one is way longer than the other one more video I did about Jordan 4s, but which one do you guys think is better? Which one would you prefer? You have to pick one. 
I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna say this off a of hype. But don't sleep on these because this is as well a great shoe. So you guys let me know which one you take in. Do you have both in your collection like I do? Did you skip on both? Did you miss out on both? Did you cop, not cop? Are they still holding up? Do you still think the lost and found is still worth the resale price? And these potentially went down a little bit. It probably some people call it a brick. But it doesn't matter. This is just the war video. Jordan 1 war. What you prefer? Lost and found Chicago's hat and breads. You guys let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know if you came from YouTube. Any sneakers you want to buy that I have for sale. Or let me know your size. And we'll get it to you. No further ado, your boy Little Roy is out. Thank you for watching. Peace out. <laughs>